Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth Civ E391 concrete lab experiment. The topic of this experiment will be the modulus of elasticity and stress strain curve of concrete. This experiment requires the lab manual section 3, concrete, in order to be completed. For this fourth experiment, the following two pieces of equipment are required. A compression testing machine and a compressometer. To begin this experiment's procedure, first attach the compressometer to the test cylinder. See figure 2 in your manual. Place the specimen with the compressometer on the lower platen of the testing machine. Carefully align the axis of the specimen with the center of thrust of the upper block of the testing machine. Lower the upper block slowly to bear on the specimen and rotate the block gently by hand so that uniform seating is obtained. Now set up the compressometer for deformation reading. Load the specimen at a rate of 35 kilopascals per second. Upon reaching a load of about 20% of ultimate load, reduce the load to zero at the same rate as the loading rate. And note the dial gauge reading. If the dial gauge reading deformation is not zero, repeat the previous two steps until the dial gauge reading upon unloading is zero. Start the final loading cycle and continue the loading until 40% of the assumed maximum. Record applied load P and longitudinal deformation at set intervals. Unload the specimen, remove the compressometer, and load it again until failure. Record the maximum load. Calculate stress and strain as described in your manual and plot the stress strain curves. That concludes concrete experiment number four, the modulus of elasticity and stress strain curve on concrete. Join us next time where we will investigate the rebound number of hardened concrete.